Hey guys, it's Tim here, and today I'll be reviewing Clips Reel, which is a video platform that allows you to take any website, any URL, any text input, and it will create a script and a video for you with a talking head of you on top of the video. You simply have to upload your own picture, and then it's going to create a talking head from that picture, and it's going to add that to the video. Now, I'm gonna show you all the details, but before I do so, I wanna mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, it will redirect you to my website, where you can find more information, also my interview with the creator. Uh, you can see more about Clips Reel, also about the pricing, here you can see uh, the available upgrades etc and also if you pick this up through my link I'm going to give you my free upgrades as well. You can see them right here. And if you decide to pick up the bundle deal, uh, I'm going to give you my brand new rocket pen bonus for free as well. Rocket pen allows you to take any URL or text input and it's going to create 32 pieces of content for you. Think about Facebook ads, blog articles, uh, webinar invites, emails, uh, 32 different pieces of content it's going to spit out. Really high quality bonus, and you're gonna get it if you pick up the bundle deal through my link. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you what Clips Reel is all about. So right now I'm logged into the software. This is the dashboard, but basically uh, you need to be here in the projects tab. Now, in the projects tab, you can start creating your projects, you can edit your existing projects, but it works really simple here. You click on create new, and from here you have three options. So you can copy and paste your content. So if you have a script, you can put that in here. Another thing that you can do is you can uh, copy and paste a blog article link inside of the software, or you can do an e-commerce page uh, video that you're going to create with uh, Clips Reel. Now in this case, I'm gonna show you the second option uh, where you can add a blog post or an article. Now, when I click on this, it's going to ask me for a project name. So I'm gonna do docs review, a docs review page. And what I'm gonna do here, let's say we have this website here uh, with a review about six different dog trainers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL. I go back to Clips Reel. I'm gonna paste that URL in here. And now I'm gonna click next here. And now it's going to visiting the URL and it's going to scrape the content from that website. And it's going to show it right here. Now, in the meanwhile, let me show you a video that I've created uh, with Clips Reel so you can see what the talking head is all about. So on this page, as you can see here, at the right bottom here, uh, this is me, this is the talking head. So let me play the video from the start here so that you can see my hat moving here. Let me enlarge it while the video is playing. Welcome to the seven day dog training challenge where we'll transform your furry friend into the well-behaved companion you've always dreamed You see that? I'm your guide, and together, we're embarking on a journey of positive reinforcement and effective training techniques. So this has been created uh, by a simple uploading of a picture of me. So actually what I've done here, so let me open my finder window. Let me go to my downloads here. What I've done is I've simply uploaded this profile picture here. It's a little bit large here. Uh, and it created the talking head based uh, of this video, uh, of this picture here. Now, as you can see, it takes a little while to extract the content. This is gonna take a few minutes and uh, I'm going, I'm coming back when this is finished. Oh, there it is already. Here you go. So here you can see that it extracted the content. Now you need to modify this a little bit. So I'm gonna remove the, the top part in here. I'm gonna remove the image credit here and you can go through it. So here it says report ad. I'm going to delete this one and also the image uh, credits. You can remove that. But basically it has scraped the content. And again, I'm going to remove the image credit in here. I'm going to remove the image credit here. And once this is done, you can see here uh, that it also uh, scraped all the images from the website here. These are all the images that were on that specific website. And it's going to use these images in your video. So as you can see, these are the different images. And once you're done here, you can click on next 
and then it's going to create a script. Now, first you need to choose, do you want to do a nine by 16, like a story video or a regular 16 by nine video? In this case, I'm going to do the 16 by nine. I'm going to click next. And now I can choose a theme for my uh, video. So from here, I'm going to say, okay, let me see here. Um, I like this one, for example, you can go over them so that you can see an example here, what happens. So this is one of the templates and uh, these are the different templates. There are five different templates that you can choose from. You can hover over them so you can see the different, uh, yeah, designs of those templates. So here you can see it's at the left side with text that comes in. So let's simply pick one and click next. And here you have the option to add your face to the video. Now, this is what I just showed you. Uh, you need to upload a good quality picture, something like this, and not something like this, so that your head is really visible. You can upload that picture. So let's do that here. I'm going to choose uh, this one. And now it has uploaded and there you can see this is the headshot that we're going to use and from here you can choose the coverage now in this case it's 10 percent of the video but you can also increase this to 25 or 50 percent of the video and also include hat movement this is what i recommend so your hat is also moving otherwise it will be very static you simply click on click next and now it's going to generate a script for you based on the information, uh, the script that it just extracted from your website. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. I'll come back and show you how you can create your video. Now, as you can see here, it says script generated, and then you can go to the video here. You can click this menu and click on edit. And here you can see the script that it has written for you. So it says, hey there, New Yorkers, are you a dog parent living in the bustling city of New York? We know that city life can be tough for both you and your furry friend from constant noise, blah, blah, blah. And then they're going to talk about the different trainers. So I'm gonna remove this main body part, so it says, first up, we have Andrea Arden Dog Training with multiple locations. And then here next, our list is Instinct Dog Behavior and Training. That's the second one. And then, uh, you know, it's going to talk about all the different trainers in here. So if you're satisfied with the, script, uh, with the script here, then what you can do, you can go over the script, you can modify it, uh, you can delete the intro here. I'm not going to put that in here. And then you can click on Convert to Video, and it will create a video for you that you can edit yourself. So let's click on this. And as you can see here, now it says generating video. And now it will start creating the different slides for you that you can modify. Now, in this case, I've already done that. So we're going to edit another one here. Uh, this is dog training review as well. It's the same one. I'm going to click on edit because it says awaiting customization. So when I click on edit in here, you can see that it opened here the video editor for you. So uh, this is the first slide. And as you can see here, it's using the pictures uh, that it scraped from the website. Now it's also adding other elements. So as you can see, this was an element that has been added. And this one uh, is New York that was in the script, right? So it added a video of New York here inside of your video. Now, let's say this first one, uh, you're not happy with this, you can replace this if you like to. So here at the left side, you have all your edit tools for each slide. So as you can see here, they're all different slides. And as you can see here as well, you can see my headshot has been added to this video. And the preview of this headshot will all only be available in the uh, rendered video at the end. Now, if you want to preview the video, you can click on preview here and it's going to show you the video. Let me show it to you. Living in NYC can be tough for our furry friends. We got the solution, the six best dog trainers in Manhattan for 2023. Up is Andrea Arden Dog Training. Multiple locations. So here you can see this was an example with a voiceover that I personally don't like at all. So what we're first going to do is we're going to change the voiceover. And this can be done here in this part uh, with the voices here with this one. So here we're going to choose English and we're going to cho cho choose here. I'm going uh, with Stefan. I like this voiceover and I'm going to generate the voiceover for this one. 
And I'm gonna use the same language and voice to generate voiceover for all the slides. So I'm gonna do this. And it says, please wait, we will inform you once the voiceover has gener been generated for all the slides. So one thing that I wanna say about the preview as well is that you saw it shocking and that's because it's not rendering or because it's rendering live it's not the end result so the end result will be smooth but because it's going to do a preview it's going to have some hiccups in the video now as you can see here let's redo this let me play it from here living in nyc can be tough for our furry friends we've got the solution the six best dog trainers in manhattan for 2023 so we can go to each slide here and we can change it so this was the first one uh, that we saw here now let's say you want to change this background image in here then you can go to the left menu here you can go to the background images and here you can choose from images videos colors user library so these are uploaded images ai images or web media now i really like to have videos so when i search for dog in here for example i can simply go over these videos and i can take one of these images from here or the, uh, one of the videos from here so let's say i want to use this one i like this one then I can simply add this to my video here and I can go to the next slide. I could do exactly the same and I can say I want to have this one or maybe another one. I want to have this one on this specific slide here. So you can go and modify each slide. So let's say you want to add extra elements here to this video. Then what you can do here is you can go to the text elements and you can add a text layer on top. So here you have an extra text layer now uh, that you can add. So you can type anything, uh, anything, anything, uh, anything you like here. And then you can change all the colors here. Uh, you can change the background. So let's say you want to have this purple. You can do that. You can do that with a blue background or you want to have a white font on a purple background. Uh, you can move this all around. You can make it bigger, smaller, etc. So you can add all these elements. So like a background image, but you can also add videos on top of videos. So let's say you want to do a dog here, a dog video on top of a dog video or an image. You can simply click this and now this a dog video will will play on top of the other dog video so you can add that here for example and then that will be added to this specific slide so you can go over each specific slide there's also ai image here so a a dog uh playing in the grass and then you can click on generate and it will generate an image for you uh, that you can use personally I do not really like those AI images. I really like to have real videos or real images in my videos. Uh, but if you like, you can do this. It takes some time to generate those uh, images. Uh, but once it's done, you can add those to your video as well. There it is. You can see, oh, this is a pretty nice one, honestly. So you can, you can, you can use this one if you like to. I haven't done this. Oh, it, it replaced the one here. You see that? So now it's in here. So you can make this a little bit bigger if you like to uh, with the handles here. And you see, you can you can modify this the way you like here. So it's a little bit tough to, to grab those handles here. So you need to be really precise here. Now I have it, you see that? So you can add this to your video if you like to. So these are layers on top of your other layers. Now you can choose music as well. There's a whole library of music. And honestly, I don't really like the tracks that comes with Clips Reel. So you can also upload your own audio. And that's why one of my bonuses is also 100,000 audio tracks that you can use inside of your videos. Now here we have the voiceover. So you can choose from all these uh, specific languages that are in here. You can pause the video and check if your language is in here. And then you can also choose from the voices from there. You also have sonority voices. If you have a sonority account, you can connect it. You can upload your own voiceover as well so if you have recorded your own voiceover you can add that to your videos as well uh, also you can record a voiceover inside of clips reel so you can click on record here and then you can record your voice that's also possible to add that to your video then in here you can upload your pictures as you can see this was my talking head as you can see you can enable this on this slide uh, but the cool thing is that you can also let's say you want to do another talking head here on this one you can uh, also upload 
a different one uh, per slide if you like to do that as well. You can also choose the position. So let's say you go back here, we, we have the one here, and you want to have it at the left top or the right top or the left bottom. Uh, you can do that as well. You can also say, I want to make this, uh, I think, large, small the face size here let me see yeah so large here so now it's really big as you can see uh, that's also possible depending on what you prefer then in here uh, you have the different transitions for the slides as you can see here so this is a transition here this is another transition uh, this is a fade in fade out transition so you can use these for the specific slides uh, you can also add uh, transitions to elements so how they fly in so maybe this if i'm correct no this is for i think this will be uh for this slide but you can also have transitions for the uh, animations for the specific elements yeah this is it so this is for the slide transition and this is for the animation of the elements so in this case this is text and i can say i want to zoom this in or i want to use one of these other elements fading from the left here uh or maybe you see which it automatically shows you maybe you want to flip it uh, you can do that as well like this or you want to have the pulse you can see it as well so it's going to pulse like that so you can choose from all these different effects a wobble here uh, so it's going to wobble you can do this for each element so if you want to have this photo if you want to add animation you can do that as well so let's say you want to have this flash uh, here look at this it's going to do a little flash not sure i didn't see it uh, maybe roll in what's that you see it rolls in so for each element that you add to your video you can add those different animations then the next option here is you have the different templates so if you want to pick another template you can simply move this here and now you will have a totally different template uh, for your video and then inside of the settings you can also add your own logo if you like to you can upload your own logo logo position as well as you can see here left top right top bottom etc uh, you have the durations for each slide so you can say each slide needs to take eight seconds six seconds whatever you like you have the volume control of the voiceover so let's say you want to have music then you can change the music volume in here as well same for the voiceover uh, and a call to action if you have a paragraph here uh, yeah cta comes here honestly i haven't tested this one top center yeah it says cta comes here uh, but this is not clickable if i'm correct so this is just a text uh, that you can add to your videos so you know uh, check out our other videos or whatever you have in here uh, and then in here you can also add an intro and an outro so when you enable this you can upload your intro video uh, you can upload your outro video so that it will be placed before or after your video and that's basically uh, how you work with these projects now uh, when you go to the projects here you can see all your projects and when they're rendered you can download them to your computer like i showed you the one at the beginning there are integrations here so these are the integrations uh, from clips reel also you can connect these accounts here facebook youtube scivit live reel script reel trim reel sonority and video reel to your account and that's basically what clips reel is all about it simply creates videos from text that's also something when you create a new project you can also paste your own text in here you can upload your own media here so when you say i want to have these images for example that i want to use inside of a video it's going to upload these images here and it's going to show them you can upload your own script in here here you can see these are the photos that i just uploaded here it's going to use these photos in your videos you can add your own script you can choose the language from here that you want to choose from as you can see so many languages are supported here to write a script for you uh, you can choose the style as well i didn't show you that at the beginning but you can uh, create a vsl here engaging a promo informative a fun video a news video controversial a product review uh, you choose whatever you like and it will write for that specific style for you so that's basically what clips reel is all about again there's a link in the description of this video in case you're interested uh, also make sure to get it through my link if you want to get my bonuses uh, 
Again, the bundle deal will give you access to a rocket pen as well that writes 32 pieces of content for you based on the URL or your text input. Super cool. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up if this video was useful. And also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews like these. So uh, hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video and uh, talk soon. Cheers.